Let's discuss the recent earthquake that struck Taiwan and how their preparedness minimized the impact of the quake. We'll also look at what spiritual lessons the Bride of Christ can learn from this event as we move closer to Jesus' second coming. On Wednesday, a 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck Taiwan. At least 13 people have been confirmed dead and over a thousand others injured, with dozens that are still considered missing or uncontactable. The earthquake has been reported as the strongest earthquake in 25 years. Though buildings were left staggering, roads damaged and bridges and tunnels destroyed, the aftermath of this earthquake did not leave the entire city in destruction. In 1999, Taiwan was hit by its worst earthquake in history. The Chichi quake caused the deaths of more than 2,400 people and destroyed tens of thousands of buildings. After this devastating earthquake, Building codes were changed and all new buildings were required to meet basic earthquake resistance levels, meaning that they could withstand a certain level of shaking without major structural failures. We can thus see how preparation and readiness were key factors in mitigating the impact. As believers, we can draw parallels between the events prophesied in Matthew 24 and the recent earthquake in Taiwan, reflecting on how Taiwan was physically prepared and how the church should likewise be spiritually prepared. When Jesus spoke to his disciples about the signs of the end times, he described various events such as wars, famines, earthquakes, the love of many growing cold, and the increase of persecution, all of which are part of the birth pains signaling the nearing of his return. Since the Son of Man will come at an hour when we do not expect him, the urgency for continual readiness and watchfulness is crucial. The church should heed the lessons of preparedness from Taiwan's earthquake response by having plans in place for disaster relief and support for those affected in times of crisis. But most importantly, the church should be prepared spiritually. A prepared church is watchful, discerning, enduring, faithful in service, ready for Christ's return, willing to endure persecution and dedicated to spreading the gospel. It's a community of believers who are actively living out their faith, keeping their focus on Christ and fulfilling the mission he has given them. As Taiwan reinforced its buildings, the church should reinforce its foundation on Christ and his word by deepening our relationship with God through prayer, studying the scriptures, staying vigilant against deception, enduring in faith and staying connected to the body of believers. As we navigate these uncertain times, let us take heed of Jesus' words in Matthew 24 and strive to be a church that is prepared, steadfast and ready for whatever may come.